Hello again and welcome to the program Agriculture on the Move. I am Philip Sidney. In today's program, we are looking back one year into the establishment of the farmers market at Rodney Bay. And for those of you who do not know, this was a collaboration between the Ministry of Agriculture, the management of Rodney Bay, IGY Marina, and of course, farmers in St. Lucia. In studio to discuss and looking back at one year of the establishment are two distinct ladies in the program today. To my immediate right is Cecilia Alexander, who is a farmer slash producer, and of course she's from Miku, and Anthea Joshua, who is our farm improvement officer in the Ministry of Agriculture. Welcome, ladies, to our program. Anthea, one year ago, the idea came up. Uh, I think the ministry was toiling in the idea some uh, years now um, in looking into a farmer's market in the north. Uh, Rodney Bay IGY management was also toiling in the idea. And uh, at last, it came to fruition. Tell us, you know, how did this synergy come by? Well, as you said, um, um, first of all, I'd like to thank you for having me on the program. Um, as you said, both parties were toying with the idea and have tried it in some form or the other. But um, it was the right moon, let's call it that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and the two parties were able to at least meet. So at the time, was Portia Mughal was the person from IGY. She contacted me, and then we met, and then it just took a life of its own from there. Mm -hmm. um, the farmers were very interested, for that matter. At the time, we got um, 74. We, got, we had That's as right. many as 74 persons yeah. that had expressed their interest in the program. Um, one of the things, because if we didn't do that, we'd have had more, mm -hmm. is that we started off with farmers that were, had gone through our certification program at, at some stage. So that helped us in weeding out the number of persons. Mm -hmm. But... Um, I know you were a little worried at the time that mm -hmm. 74 people, and where do we put all those people? Correct. All kept yes. on telling you, yes. don't worry about that. It will sort itself out. Mm -hmm. And through the process of natural selection, it has. That's right. Um, actually, on the day when we started, um, we had about 50 persons that had shared, yes, they were coming. We actually ended up with 40-something. That wasn't too bad. Mm -hmm. And as the time went on, it reduced, and right now, we have less than 20. <laughs> <laughs> now, though it is, you say, oh, okay, but it, it's better for them. Eh? Mm -hmm. The less persons you have, the more they can each go home with. That's correct. And that is one of the things that, um, that's the beauty of agriculture. Mm -hmm. It is one of the true um, free enterprises. Yes, right. Right? Um, we do not restrict who comes in. Mm -hmm. Everybody is free, but on their own through the the economics of it mm -hmm. ensure that the certain persons are out. Okay. Because the market is not a, like the market for the farmer. Mm -hmm. It is an extra, it's an additional market. That's right. And is additional convenience for our consumers. Mm -hmm. Now, talking about our consumers, we started off and you said we were doing it the third Saturday of every, every month. Mm -hmm. And... Um, we did it only the third Saturday only once. That's correct. And <laughs> because from from, from the then it, um, the consumers up. were saying we only we don't only eat once a month. We eat all the time. That's so right. we all better be there next Saturday. That's right. Now do we say okay? We, since we said this, we stick to that or listen to our consumers and being market led, mm -hmm. it uh, the grouping took a decision to have, to, it, to have it every Saturday. Okay. It has been a strain, yes, mm -hmm. initially. We've been through a lot of challenges, but we didn't look at it as 
Negative. Um, uh, uh, negative. Yeah. We looked at the way as how to improve on the, okay. the market itself. Cecilia, you have been there from the start, through thick and thin. Yeah. How did you see it, uh, you getting involved, and um, are you also part of, I think, a little management team, which we'll, mm -hmm. we'll speak about in a while. Yeah. But give me your story. Well, when I first started with Ministry of Agriculture, and uh, they were the one who encouraged us to be to be involved, in, involved. Mm -hmm. and we decided. So I said, well, let me try. Mm -hmm. Since I was in Dufort, it was a little slow, so I moved in. And uh, it was good at the starting, but you know, as it moved along, the sales dropped because of the, the season, mm -hmm. the season is closed, so things are moving slow. Mm -hmm. But I enjoy my 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 coming. Mm -hmm. I have not regret, but I believe one day it will be bigger than that. I do have that faith will be moving from one to the next. It's patient that counts. That's right. But it, it was supposed to be like like Althea said, the, the third Saturday of yes. every month. Every and then and, and now it is every Saturday. Every Saturday. There's why why there's you think it, it, it moved to every Saturday? Because of the customers. Mm -hmm. They want it every day. They well. don't only one Saturday. Every Saturday. Even some want it every day, but it is it is it's difficult. Difficult for us to have it so. But we believe as time goes by we'll have it like that. Mm -hmm. But everything takes time and if we have that kind of patience and faith we'll move along with it. Okay. Anthea, the ministry was involved uh, from the beginning, mm -hmm. as you said. And um, can you give a little rundown as to the ministry's involvement from the commencement and the challenges, you know, that were faced? Okay. Um, the ministry provided um, tents, um, tables, chairs, right? Mm -hmm. um, okay. Providing it had its own challenge, mm -hmm. getting them there every Saturday and getting it back. And the time. The time, <laughs> the cost. That's it right. was costing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then um, we were also getting some corporate partners. We had some assistance from Digicel in the beginning and then from Line. We're still getting some assistance from, from Line. Uh, they have given us their commitment to giving us the tents, the third Saturday of every month once it's available. Mm -hmm. um, we have gotten some assistance from um, parents with tents, we've gotten mm -hmm. from distillers with tents, mm -hmm. but it too was up and down because they too have their business to run and they have use for the tents because they didn't buy it too for us, mm -hmm. they bought it for them. So sometimes uh, there are clashes with when they have to use it and when we have to use it. And so it is ha the tents have been a real challenge for us. Mm -hmm. The other thing about it is um, the place is windy. So the quality of the tent is very important and the one from the Ministry of Agriculture was was superb. Okay. Um, the ministry held on for quite a while. It was not until about July this year mm -hmm. that they reduced the the the, the uh, assistance with the tents. Mm -hmm. um, we got the donated tab tables. We've gotten some tables from from the ministry. So that's one of the things we do not have to look for. Mm -hmm. The the, the vendors have since bought their own tents, and that together with what we get from Lime is what has been sustaining us. Mm -hmm. In addition to the tents and the tables, we have personnel that have been working, because I have been working with them from the beginning. Um, we had our driver that used to assist them in the mm -hmm. collecting and delivering of the tents, that's Mr. Mm -hmm. Neil. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. And the vendors miss him very much since, mm -hmm. since he, he, he's as his participation right. has been reduced. Hold that, that yes. point there. We are due for a break. You're watching Agriculture on the Move. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. There are many opportunities in agriculture, and broiler production is one such enterprise. For further information, contact the Veterinary and Livestock Division at 468-5621. Welcome back to the program, Agriculture on the Move. Cecilia, one year into the farmer's market, um, what's about the pricing and also what sort of variety of commodities that you all as farmers bring to that market? Well, 
we have many, many varieties, and the prices, some people complain with the prices, but we have moved on to a price that is good enough. But what we lack of as farmers, we're not using our skills enough. Okay. So we are going to change that kind of low fees or heat, mm -hmm. bring it to weight. So you sell by, by, by weight? Yes, mm -hmm. sell by weight. Mm -hmm. And I think it will be better for us and easy. Because there was, there was, there was um, uh, some little complaint by some consumers that um, the prices were a bit high. In fact, they began well, mm -hmm. and some um, of the farmers were, were actually adding on to the prices because they figure they are at Rodney Bay. But they, they forget it's not only Rodney Bay per se, because you have people yeah. from Grosley, people from Marisilo coming there too. Mm -hmm. So um, wh where is that now? Well, we have, we have taken out that. Okay. It is not there anymore. Yeah. Everybody has come to understand and the farmers see, well, that is, that is fair. Everybody has to have the same price. And uh, the wheat is a little problem because they are still not using the skills. Mm -hmm. And you're asking farmers to use their skills mm -hmm. instead of making heat. That's why you make more money by wheat. That's right. Without wheat, there is no money. Mm -hmm. You give out more. By the, by, by the hips right. or, or, or by what they call the low. The low. Mm -hmm. But and if you have the, the, the weight, your scale, you weigh, you make your money. Yeah, and people see exactly what they buy. Exactly. Too. They, 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 yes. Because they people want to spend money because things are rough, you know. So at least they want to spend money, but they want to get, you know, what they are spending right. for. Yeah. Because I can remember at the teller did the price for melon. I told her it was 40. But she tell me she, she don't want it. I said, it's 20 pounds. She tell me no. But when I weighed, it was exactly. Because I had already weighed, then mm -hmm. she me, okay, and she took it. That's right. So that's why I'm encouraging the farmers, let us use our skills. That's right. Um, if we weigh, we will make money. If we don't weigh, we give away. There is no money. Yeah. And we always complain, the minister, we always complain, agriculture don't help, Minister of Agriculture doesn't help. But it's we that have to help ourselves that's right. for us to move and to make the amount we want to. And see all you have to say on that. But for the prices, sometimes you have to also look at the um, supply and demand. Eh? Mm -hmm. um, when the supply is low, the price will go up. Mm -hmm. It's not because it's farmers that that principle doesn't apply mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. um, and they too go around, so they know what prices are being sold in the central market. And mm -hmm. most times, their prices are much lower and what is sold in the central market, mm -hmm. and even sometimes in the supermarket. Mm -hmm. Now you'll want to say, well, if I go to the supermarket, I'll get it at whatever price. But then we're looking at volume. Mm -hmm. Again, the volumes that the supermarkets are purchasing. Because if I have 100 pounds of something to get rid of, and I have 10 pounds, you understand? Mm -hmm. The pricing will be different mm -hmm. because there's more to get rid of. Mm -hmm. So therefore, um, people shouldn't just compare one-on-one -on -one as to, okay, I can get it at that price at the supermarket, mm -hmm. right? Um, sometimes we, you don't, cannot get it in the supermarket, mm -hmm. and sometimes even the quality of what's in the supermarket mm -hmm. is so much lower than that. So mm -hmm. you cannot compare a product by name. You mm -hmm. have to look at what you're getting for your money. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes they tell you, about, they give you a bag, they say, oh, like the lettuce, the one time you were selling lettuce, it was um, $5 for the bag, mm -hmm. okay? But in, they are looking at to spend five dollars on a bag of of lettuce, but it's how much lettuce are you getting for your five dollars? Mm -hmm. You understand? And if we have to go and compete in the supermarket, in the central market in Cash Street, you're getting much more for your money. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You understand? And you have the ability to go and take one head if you want and negotiate your price. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not because it's packaged, that means it cannot be broken down, because it's their stuff, they mm -hmm. can break it down mm -hmm. for you. What time is that market? You know, what does it start, um, Cecilia? Well, the market starts from 6 a.m. Mm -hmm. in the morning mm -hmm. and ends at 6 in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. That is our time. And then give, a, give an idea of, I know you, I mean, we, yes, we talk about vegetables and fruits, but mm -hmm. um, I mean, can you give us a, an idea? Because I know you have more than just that. You have processed stuff. Mm -hmm. Give an idea of what it is that you all sell. Well, we sell um, lettuce. We have yam. We have dashing breadfruit when it's in season, mango in season, we have avocado, we have all different kinds of herbs mm -hmm. like celery, chives, uh, parsley, 
we have mint. We also have processed processed food like jams and jellies. Mm -hmm. We have um, cold pressed oil, hot pressed oil. Okay, so it's we a real purge. Okay, all right. But but I was told that um, you all have a, a good arrangement. In other words, like each um, vendor have their own client. They come there to go to a specific person to get what they want on, on every Saturday. Is that, is that so? Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. And if the, the clients are fine from that one, mm -hmm. she will send you to this one. Okay. So we move like that. If I don't have that, then I will ask the other one whether she has that or not. Mm -hmm. So if she has it, I will send you to her. Right. And it's, we are moving like that. So okay. we sell to each other. And the, the vendor is not selfish you say well because i don't have i will not send you to the mm -hmm. other one mm -hmm. we don't operate like that okay we, we send our clients to each other okay and here now the ministry i started off as we said for a number of things okay mm -hmm. tables chairs you know um it was yes. very costly from the beginning but we got to a point where we, we had to empower the the farmers to take control of the mm -hmm. that activity mm -hmm. um what has happened since okay well we have a management committee among them, not functioning as I would like to see it. Because mm -hmm. um, one of the things I was saying, a mistake I made in the beginning, that um, the ministry is the one that organized it. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't, a team was developed and then we organized uh -huh, it. Uh -huh. So that although we have the management committee, there's still a lot of dependence on the on ministry. The ministry. Mm -hmm. It's weeding out, right? Because for the, that's why we should have had the committee in the first place. Mm -hmm. I go on vacation, mm -hmm. um, I have other assignments to do. So um, they felt it, <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. So that, I, because I was sent on compulsory leave. Mm -hmm. So they, they, although I would pop in on a thing, but they were forced to have to take over. Mm -hmm. And then when the tents and stuff thing, so they had to, they had to take, take it. IGY did assist as well. They gave them some some funds to assist with advertisements and to get uh, get tent, mm -hmm. right? I mean, that was what they could have afforded. So we're hoping that we can, since they have new management now, mm -hmm. that we can rene renegotiate and see what as other assistance that we can get from them. The assistance from Lime, I mean, was it uh, tremendous help? Yes, mm -hmm. greatly, especially the texts. Um, they were they would send out a text and. Almost, you could almost immediately see the effect of the, te right, the text. Because as soon as I get it on my because I have a line phone, mm -hmm. as soon as I get it, a few minutes later, you see an influx of persons coming in, some with their line bags, because mm -hmm. they did give us some bags, mm -hmm. right. right, that we have been giving out to the customers. So they would come, they just come in. And although we're there every Saturday, we tell people we're there every Saturday, but sometimes they don't remember, trust me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, and there's still some persons that, Live in the Rodney Memory area That's true. that still do not know That's that true. we are there. And so there, so yeah. advertisement is key. Yes, advertisement mm -hmm. is key. It's, it has to be there as a reminder, mm -hmm. but it's expensive. Yeah. But the texts from Lime, we greatly appreciate it. And whenever they can, they do assist us with it. Once we make the request, but it's not something that they can continue doing all. Yeah. But, but, but Lime, Lime now is the only um, a sponsor provider now that is. Lending a hand in effective hand now. Yes, for now. Okay. Um, what we're hoping in the new year to see if we can negotiate and maybe have a, a sponsor a week. So okay. right. the third Saturday will be lying. Okay. The yeah. second Saturday will be somebody else. So that's where we're going okay. to see if we could get other. All right. Okay. Well, I thought we are due for a break. Um, I want to say thank you to Lime at this point, uh, especially Esther at Lime. I know you did a tremendous job for us in ensuring that the farmers market continues. We'll be right back. Did you know that government provides duty-free incentives on farm machinery, inputs, irrigation systems, boat engines, boats, and many more? Investing in agriculture a wise choice. Welcome back to the program, Agriculture on the Move. We are discussing the first anniversary of the Rodney Bay IGY Farmers Market. Anthea, the uh, anniversary is going to be on what date? Oh, well, we're hoping to have it on the 16th of November. This is the third Saturday 
of November. It's not the, we're not going by the date. Mm -hmm. We're going by the, the, third. the third Saturday of the month. Okay. And since we started on the third Saturday of November last year, so this is going to be our anniversary. And we're inviting everybody to come to the marina. Um, there's going to be lots of giveaways. What's, what's in stock? T give us an idea. Lots because of giveaways yeah. from, the from the farmers. And we going, as usual, we always promote local. Mm -hmm. Now, we're not saying that you cannot not buy from overseas because we're promoting agriculture on the whole. Doesn't mm -hmm. matter where it's from. But one of the things, last year when we launched, we had um, all our snacks were made from products local. So we had um, cassava biscuits. We had um, our cassava, uh, lots of stuff with cassava. Mm -hmm. And um, we had drinks and so, so everything was made looks. We had no sandwiches, mm -hmm. okay? That's one of the things. Um, one of our co-workers at the time, mm -hmm. she's always saying, this is agriculture. Mm -hmm. We do not make wheat. <laughs> 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 right? So yeah. why are we promoting wheat products? It's yeah. not that we tell them don't buy wheat bread, eh? Mm -hmm. um, we not done that. But what are we saying? As an agriculture organization, we're trying to get, encourage our producers to try and use what they have. So if you have in a meeting, you understand? Why would we be bringing in box juice and stuff when we have juice from our... So have right. stuff made from what we have on our farm. In fact, that's what in, in, fact in fact, our slogan now is called, what's it? Eat fresh, St. Lucia's best. best. That's right. what we, we need to go And with. so if you notice, our T-shirt has... Um, we make it, we grow it, always Lucian. That's mm -hmm. correct. Right. Mm -hmm. Not that we're moving away from that mm -hmm. theme. That's always going to be our theme. That's right. But this year, in, in, collab, in, con, in collab support of, of Wolf Day, Wolf Day mm -hmm. the Wolf Day theme mm -hmm. about sustainability and so, mm -hmm. since the ministry had looked at the new slogan, we want to make that ours for the coming year. Yeah. Okay. So, and then um, I think this will be our, our way forward that although we still go in lo always lotion, but whatever theme that we use from World Food Day that, we go that the farmer's market will adopt it going forward. Cecilia, the mm -hmm. way forward, I know you'll have a little, a little organization. I know you've been a person behind, you know, doing a lot. I, I, I heard that you'll collect monies, you know, t that goes towards tents. What yeah. is the way forward um, for, I'm not saying the ministry is not there. The umbilical cord is still there because yeah. we're still there to give you all the support. Yes. But we want you to take charge mm -hmm. of that activity. What is the way forward with you? Well, the way forward with me is that I have spoken to the farmers and they agreed. I said, now we have to stand our own. Mm -hmm. Government will help us, but we have to show them that we can stand, we can mm -hmm. help, mm -hmm. we can go forward. And we have decided to collect a small fee of $10 every Saturday so we can purchase our own tent, more tables, chairs, and even let it grow that we can help if there's somebody who's sick or need help, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that money can help. Mm -hmm. Instead of we leaning on government all the time, because government has its weight, and if we lift up with him, mm -hmm. it can be light. Mm -hmm. So as farmers, we have to stand and don't let everything on farm on, on the, the government. But I also told that you all want to work with IGY, whether, you know, um, in terms of storage of your tents and stuff like this, um, to get a, a, a container, a 20-foot container. Um, mm -hmm. uh, has that been discussed? Yes, mm -hmm. we have discussed, but we, we have not found the container as yet. Mm -hmm. But as we, we still looking to see whether we can get one, mm -hmm. And uh, the manager, he agreed okay. to give us somewhere so that we can place our container and store our stuff in. Okay. Anything else on that day, Antia, you want to highlight? Um, basically, is we have lots of giveaways. We have one or two surprises. Um, I've not concretized them as yet, so I will not say what it is. But we're hoping to have, you know, some. And you're expecting exercises. a bit more farmers. Yes. This time around. Um, mm -hmm. like as we said, we had started with so many, mm -hmm. but some of those that had stop coming they will wait they say they're waiting for the season to open and stuff like that because um we're going to invite them mm -hmm. i've spoken to some of them already they have agreed mm -hmm. so we're going to be finalizing the the lineup but we're making sure that there's going to be a real variety i'm going to invite one or two persons you know maybe having some face painting and stuff for the children mm -hmm. so make it an outing mm -hmm. 
for the 16th of November 2013. 15. But going forward, um, we, the minister, from the ministry's point of view, we want to promote the, the idea of farmers market island wide, right? right. Yeah. So um, we are presently in discussion with the Marigo Marina to see how we can operate there. Now, one of the things we would like to do is to have it on a Sunday. Okay. Since we have already have mar the IGY Marina on a Saturday, we'd have it on a Sunday. So those persons that cannot make it on the Saturday will still have an, uh, uh, an opportunity to, to experience a farmer's market okay. in the north. And from there, we go in the south. Where, where, in the, where in the south? We're looking at Viewfort and Soufre. The same way, one would be Saturday, one would be Sunday. Mm -hmm. We haven't finalized who is going to be what yet, mm -hmm. but, um, thing. but the beauty about Marigo is that we're working with the Region 7 Extension Officers. There's a, a development committee for that region. Mm -hmm. And they're already on board with that. They have already um, had one or two meetings concerning the formation of that market. Mm. In terms of the quality of stuff that is sold, I mean, how do you get the farmers to understand that quality is key? Uh, I know you're talking about certification of the farmers, but how is that being, you know, um, really spelled out to them? Generally, the quality is good. Mm. But like everything else, you know, not all the time it's you understand? Because sometimes you put your stuff together and or then overnight, maybe it had a cut or something you didn't notice and then it, you know, like one bad egg spoils the whole lot. Mm -hmm. So you do get, you know, a little variation in quality, but mm -hmm. it's not a, a common place. However, we have already um, identified a, a number of training areas that we're going to be um, working on. Um, I need, we need some funding where that is concerned and mm -hmm. As soon as that is... What's about publicity? Relevant. Publicity. Well, we have to attempted a number of things. You know, we've gotten some assistance through the Ministry of Commerce, um, through um, Minister Emma Hippolyte. We've gotten flyers and stuff that was handed out. Mm. Um, they have done a number of redo advertisements and stuff like that. Mm. Um, I've spoken with our, min our deep, um, information unit to do um, interviews one-on-one, okay. on one, one on one. like yeah. meet your vendor kind okay. of thing. Yeah. But schedules, his and my schedule has okay. been such that it hasn't been right. done yet, but it is in okay. the pipeline. Finally, um, Cecilia, any final words from you? Well, what I want to say, I want to ask the public um, to come out in large numbers because it will be our first year of anniversary. Mm -hmm. Come and let's purchase. Let's buy. Come and buy. Come and purchase. Come and get the things we grow in our country. Mm -hmm. Let us make life easy for us mm -hmm. instead of importing. That's correct. But eat what we grow. And grow what we eat. And grow what <laughs> we eat. <laughs> and eat fresh. <laughs> and see your final. Yes. Um, and the beauty about the farmers market is that you get to learn how to use your product and mm -hmm. learn about the product. Okay. Right, as opposed to just picking on the shelf and then sometimes you reach home and you say, I'm tired of eating it this uh, way. So you can have some discussion with okay. the producers all as right, to have right. another way to use your product. Well, we have come to the end of the program. I want to thank you all for being on the program and I hope everything goes well on for your first anniversary. Yeah. And to hope you'll encourage more people to come, more farmers to come to sell their produce. Viewers, you're watching Agriculture on the Move. Today we were discussing the Rodney B. IGI Farmers Market. We started one year ago in the collaboration with the farmers of St. Lucia, the Ministry of Agriculture, and of course, Rodney B. IGY. I hope you come in at uh, next, uh, on the third sa uh, Saturday to enjoy and to buy from them. Eat fresh, St. Lucia's best. I'm Philip Zinni saying goodbye and see you again. Agriculture on the move. 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 Agriculture on the move.